Hello everyone, this is TSET ABCD and welcome to another Katan video here on my channel. So I'm in the fourth position here, but before we start, and this is not often that I ask for subscriptions, but I've noticed that uh, only around 20% of my viewers are subscribed to my channel. So it would be a good uh, positive reinforcement for me if uh, all of you subscribe. If you like my content and if you want daily Katan videos, it would be pretty nice. Uh, yeah, and that's it for my uh, that's it for my request. Uh, now let's take a look at this board. So I mean here orange and I I mean this is copper. I'll just count call it brown. I think that's easier for me. They do get a very strong first placements here. I think 8510 would be a good placement spot for me. Something like 8510, 694 and give up on or completely. But I think red here will go for something. Red here might go for 694. If actually red goes for 8510, I can consider something like 694, 810 especially with the access to the sheep port seems like okay i mean i did expect this yeah the problem is the brick port is also quite out of the way not very accessible to me like 910 so if i go for something like 8510 910 i'm not sure if my setup is strong enough to compete with everyone else's here I mean, I can still go for 8, 9, 10, 6, 3, 11. Actually, the other 6, 3, 11 is slightly better. Grab a little bit of ore. And uh, where do I want to point my road? I mean, the 8, 5, 10 pointing road to the left is like, it's just a given. I'm not thinking about it. For 6311, pointing down, I don't think is going to work out. Uh, 91011 is surely going to be picked up by. Actually, does anybody go for 91011? So I believe red here wants to go for something like um, 810. And then orange goes for 834. I mean, brown does. If brown doesn't go for eight three four, then orange has to go for eight three four. And then brown goes for something like maybe five ten two. Actually, I'm going for eight five ten. So brown goes for here. I will start with a. I'll start with six three eleven. Start with a dev card in hand or on the other hand, start with low sheep and uh, ore, both of which are low production. So let's take a look again. I mean, so if I go for the other 6311, I don't block any spots. I mean, in fact, I leave something like 3, 10, 11 open for either brown or orange to go for it. So I think 6, 3, 11 is better with, with the ore production. And then and I'm still not sure where do I want to point my road. I think pointing down is an option. Is it really an option though? Because Maybe 6, 11, 12 stays open, right? Maybe it's, it's a big maybe because the access to the wheat port might come in handy uh, for either orange or brown. Do I get to the wood port and is the wood port even useful? Like, do I not sure? So 
so again like red goes for 810 brown most likely goes for something like 834 and then orange wants to go for 6 11 12 here I'm running out of time, so I will make this placement, but I'm still not sure where do I want to point my road. I can point down and if nothing else works out, I can still connect my settlements. That is surely a choice that I have here. Yeah, I don't, yeah, maybe in hindsight, 910 is something that I should have considered. Let's take a look at, yeah, so this was expected. Uh, let's take a look at the ranking of other players. Orange is global rank 53. That's very strong. Brown here is global rank 119. That's strong as well. And I've seen um, the name in a few other videos. Yeah, red here is at 10. 83, but I still think red is also a very strong player. I've seen them in the past or at least seen the name a couple of times before. Yeah. <laughs> Just another set of advertisement so yeah here because i think brown is a very strong player brown should realize that leaving 843 open for orange is most likely just going to be the end of the game for everyone yeah, in hindsight, actually, orange does like 9, 10, 11 as compared to 6, 11, 12 with the access to the wheat port. It's a difficult choice. If I were orange, I think I go for 9, 10, 11 here. Or maybe consider 4, 11. It's a slow start, but then get access to 9, 10. So 4, 11 will improve. Okay, so yeah, this makes sense. It points to the right. Yeah, I think because of the timeout here, I, it was, but did what do the placement for road? Maybe, I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, here I think orange surely goes for 8-4. Okay. I don't mind this because I can still go for 6-11-12. I go for a 1 is to 2 here. Yeah, 
Yeah, here orange did not get any. I, I go for one is to two. Otherwise, I don't want a trade with orange. Identical trade offered. Okay, so don't don't want to go for it. I don't think so. Anybody has two boards. Yeah. yeah, I think for me, orange has to be the block. I get wood. Oh, I get brick. So, I mean, let's see if I can get a trade here. Yeah, I cannot give up a break. So I'll just go for a dev card. I get a knight, which is fine. It is, I would say, expected. And I'll build to the threes to one port. Yeah, I mean, I agree with, um, Orange, that red too has a pretty strong setup. I will accept any one is to two. Okay, trades with brown. Yeah, I don't mind 11th. I think 11th are the best role because I get ore and nobody else gets anything else. Yeah, but the lack of sheep and I can surely accept this trade. Yeah, maybe I can accept a trade like this as well. I know I'm giving up brick, but my brick production is quite strong. Yeah, I'm surely not accepting a one is to two here. I think that is just extortion or maybe if I get a one is to one. I can still go for it. I do get it. Wow, that is good. So this is still okay because now I am looking to get a city on 6.3.11, which will double my ore and my sheep and wheat production. 
So yeah, I think at this point I'll just end my turn. Hold on to the cards I have in hand. A ten would be the perfect roll here. Most likely, I am going to be targeted on the six weed. Let's see. Steals a weed. Ah. Yeah, don't like it for sure. I mean, I can play my knight, but then. Yeah, so these do not help me at all. Like now my hand is completely stuck and I cannot do anything. I might just have to end my turn with eight cards in hand. Do I just do this with orange? Or do I want to do it with red? I think I can do it with red. A couple of bricks don't help red as much as they help orange. And I don't think anybody has any wood to trade. Actually, I can do this trade with orange. I mean, this basically gives me a city. So now a uh, six will give me a settlement. Okay, so here I might lose six, eleven, twelve to Brown, but then. It's not like I can do much about it. I mean, my other option is, is now if a 10 rolls, I can build two roads, but I'll be leaving a couple of settlement spots hanging, which is surely not something that I will do. I've had a few bad experiences recently, leaving my roads hanging. I mean, that said, it's difficult for both orange and brown to build a couple of roads. Yeah, I might even offer a two is to one. Let's see. Nobody is willing to accept it. Oh, if I get a trade like this. Yeah, I'll just end my turn then. Yeah. 
here again i will not be giving up a word especially now that i've lost on the 6 11 12 spot there is no reason for me to give up on the rare word i would rather want a 6 to roll so i mean i think my only option is to do a 4 is to 1 get a wheat empty my hand and also get my settlement on the threes to one port here red is in a very very strong position maybe i start blocking the Okay, maybe two elevens, I don't know. I mean, the six wheat is an easy target and I will be blocked. It's unfortunate, I don't... I... I mean red has to be targeted. I'll be surprised if I will be blocked here. The 8 over or the 6 wheat has to be the target. Yeah, I'll be surprised. I mean, red most likely plays the knight, will target me on the six. Okay, isn't playing a knight, which is surprising. If a 11 rolls here, I don't even go for a city. I think I just buy a couple of dev cards to defend myself. I mean, it's like an obvious choice at this point. I will try and get a settlement on the other three to one port as well. Maybe I should also think about connecting my settlements. It secures the longest road to some extent. Your red has a wheat in hand, which is not something that I'm interested in. But because red has a couple of dev cards, do I just target red? I don't think so. I think I need to defend myself. And for now, I will just build a road and end my turn. Let's see. Here again, orange has a choice between red and me. Yeah.
I mean, if the five is going to be blocked, I mean, this is the right block, I would say. And even if red plays the knight and targets the six wheat, steals from me, it is, it is fine. I mean, it's not like I can do much about that. Wow, doesn't even play the knight, which is actually scary, to be honest. Let's see, I've offered an ore. Yeah. So at this point, So let's see if I get this trade. I mean, orange did accept it. And so this gives me a city. Yeah, maybe I should have blocked the nine. I was considering it. Let's see. I mean, I believe Brown will still try and get to the wheat port. Here, I don't have any cards, so should not be, wow. I mean, targets, um, the 10 board. Yeah. So just end my turn here. I know it will be me who is going to be targeted, but then not much that I can do. Yeah. I mean, just because I am stuck with three and 11 and 10, like these three numbers, whereas six and eight are just a dev card for, for red. So I think it is the right thing to do targeting red. Yeah. 
Yeah, red targets me here. I mean, steals my break, I believe, which is fine. It is what it is. Yeah, so just end my turn. Hopefully roll the seven. Yeah, this is good. And now I think it has to be the nine wheat or the six sheep. Okay, because red gave up on a couple of wheat, I think it should be the nine wheat here. Okay, the ten sheep and targets orange after that. I mean, for me, I'll just buy a dev card here, right? And I get a VP. I I think it, I like it. I mean, I'll go for this. I don't mind getting a word. or an ore or a sheep okay i get a word i mean that is fine because i'm still trying to get a settlement so now if a three rolls i'll get a settlement and a city and maybe targets rare or brown here yeah still targeting orange but now red yeah buys another dev card which was expected uh, yeah, I mean, this is just bad luck, losing out on a few cards. I get an ore, so I can do a 3 to 1 to get a settlement. Do I have any other choice, to be honest? So this puts me on 7, but I still don't see how I can win the game easily. Like I need a few 10s to roll as well, which haven't hasn't happened a lot. Elevens are good, I need maybe a 3 now. So with that eight, again, I'll just buy another dev card. Hope that it's a Monopoly or a VP and I get a Monopoly. Surely a card that I like. Now if a couple of sixes roll, maybe a Monopoly on sheep would be very strong. But the problem is red makes use of all the sheep. So maybe a couple of fives would be good. Yeah, I mean, red, I think might have a monopoly. Okay, plays a year of plenty. So, Yeah, 
Yeah, let's see if I can get any trades for a break and then I'll just play a monopoly on break. I mean, I don't think I have much choice. I just have to play a monopoly on break here. Do I even get a city after that? I think I need to buy dev cards and maybe fight for the army. So yeah, let me just convert all resources into, okay, I get a road builder. So maybe that can come in handy. So now if I play a monopoly on break, I actually built two roads, don't I? To the 8-4. And then just try and take the longest road. Yeah, maybe I build two roads towards 5-2. And then try and connect. Maybe that is a good choice here. Let's see. I mean, there is a decent amount of wheat and wood available. I don't think so. There is any winning role for me at this point. Maybe I get this trade or is it a monopoly play? Yeah, I think it might be a monopoly play. Okay, let's see, I'll agree, I mean, if it is not, I'll trust red here, if it is not a monopoly play, then maybe for three rolls or eight or five, I can buy a dev card. Okay, with the six here, let's see if I can get this trade. Maybe a two is to one. If not, I'll just end my turn. Hopefully roll the seven. Yeah, roll the seven. That is good. And here brown needs to be the target. Actually, brown doesn't need to be the target. It still has to be red. Because most likely brown will lose the longest road to me. Or at least that is what I'm hoping will happen. Yeah, I mean, here red should not be, should not be trading with brown because brown on nine is very, very scary. Okay, at least the nine block comes in handy. Would like a 11 to roll. I'll just buy a city. Okay, at this point, I think eight is an obvious choice. I get word which doesn't help me in any way. Let's see if I get this. Or maybe this, I'm just trying to buy a dev card. Okay. 
okay i get a knight uh, that doesn't help me here the thing is brown cannot get any more uh, cities they have to get a settlement so the five over doesn't help brown directly So now I have the city in hand. I still don't have a, don't have the longest road because I need to build three roads and the road builder will only give me two. I still need a 10 and a eight to roll or a 10 and a five to roll. Yeah, here, I don't think anybody should be trading with Brown. I think the yeah six is a good okay so that is the city uh, go on for me Yeah, maybe red has like four VPs, which is also very scary because red just needs a single city to win the game. If that is the case. Yeah, red is. Here. I get a ore, which is perfect. Because now this does give me the city that I'm looking for. And here I will build a road this way. I, all I need to do is just connect and win the game. Yeah, I don't mind if I am targeted here. All I want is Brown to not be able to build any more roads. Here. I mean, I don't mind Brown building a road because if eight rolls, I can still just build two more roads.
okay so i can build a road here okay brown builds an extra road so now i need a 10 to roll I need a 10 or another 8 to roll. Aha. Uh -huh. So, I mean, I can still build a road here. At least secure that I have roads to build. And with zero cards, I would want a 7 to roll. Yeah, orange does not have a 3 to 1 port. Yeah. Seems like, okay, it doesn't buy a dev card, surprising. Here, I'm not sure if uh, Brown has a city in hand, but it's, I mean, Brown can still buy a dev card, right? Actually, Brown does not have any ports and a six and a 11 hasn't rolled. A four just rolled there, right? Yeah, seems like Brown just builds a settlement and wins the game. Yeah, if Brown is not winning here, then Brown needed to extend. Yeah, and red here surely has four VPs. Okay, brown still is able to extend, which is surprising. Yeah. Let's see. I don't think so. Red has a monopoly. If red had a monopoly, it has to be played on break here. Yeah, it feels like actually red has a monopoly. Otherwise, there is no reason for red to think for this long. Actually, a monopoly on brick just ends my game, doesn't it? Okay, plays a monopoly on sheep. Actually, this puts me under seven. So if red is not winning the game outright, so red will get a city and buy a couple of dev cards, hoping to get a VP. So I think that gave me the win here. I just have to get the longest road and win the game. Wow.
Yeah, here, I mean, the lobby is great. Everyone is commenting on each other in a, I mean, yeah, it's very exciting, very strong and actually a very good lobby, to be honest. Yeah, these eights were very, very nice for me. I would have liked a few more tens. It would have made my game a lot easier. Yeah. And 11s also did roll a little, which helped me get the cities that I needed. The monopoly on brick was also a must by me. Uh, how many cards did I get on the monopoly? I can actually just take a look here. Yeah, it was Brown who lost the most cards there by the monopoly. So yeah, overall a very, very strong game. Wait, what is this? Oh, so, okay. Brown is an elite member. Yeah, as I said, I have, feels like I have seen these names before. And uh, Orange is a premium member. So with that win, let's see, where does this take me? So yeah, it takes me to global rank 34. Yeah, this is the highest I have ever been. I mean, even in the yesterday's video, 55 was my best ever rank. And this is again, my another personal best. Where does this put me in Asia? I'm, yeah, number three in Asia. Feels pretty nice. India, I think will be number one. Yeah. So here with global rank 34 does surely does feel very, very strong, but it's still not the top 10. I'll still continue fighting and try and get to the top 10. I'm just noticing that the win percentage is needs to be much higher actually. Like getting from 39 to 42 will be quite a bit of a stretch, I would say. Like I need to win a few more games in a row for that to happen. Anyway, uh, yeah, I am very excited with this. The last couple of games have been quite close, quite strong. But anyway, bye for now and see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.